What is it, boy? What is it? Some more Sanrite stuff? It is more Sanrite stuff. You guys are right. What's up, everybody? It's Johnny Manic from Manic Skates, and today I received a box in the mail from Charles and Naomi from Sandrite, and they had sent over a flap sander attachment and a, an adapter sleeve so I can put it on my Grizzly. So let's take a look at that thing. What do we got in here? What is this? Oh, a flap sander. And this, another adapter sleeve. Wee! I got a call from Charles over at Sandrite and uh, he saw my video about how to convert um, your Grizzly to be able to fit a uh, Sandrite bag. And he noticed I wasn't using my flap. And he asked why, and I said, well, you know, the one that comes with it has really thick paper, 120 grit, I don't know. It doesn't really um, sand my edges the way I want, like finish them. And then I also go with a palm sander and kind of take off those little, you know, burrs from, from drilling. Also just to kind of like even it out. And he insisted that I try his flap sander. So he's nice enough to send me one to check out see if he can change my mind on flap sanders um, but this one what a nightmare man I have to duct tape it together I'll show you why after I I do an example but I wasn't able to get as smooth as it would be if I used a palm sander so the goal here I guess is to upgrade to a more factory level flap sander to see if it takes out that extra step I do with a palm sander so I'm gonna put this nightmare on Sorry, Grizzly. I love you guys, man. But this thing, I'm sure you know the complaints. I mean, it's just a piece of wood brush with some sandpaper on it. I tried to find replacements to get like a softer grit and they were nowhere to be found. Maybe they're on your site somewhere, but I couldn't find it. And look at that. Holy smokes. All you gotta do is pull it out a little bit. There's a a thinner paper so it gets more flap, sturdier brushes, tears in the paper so it flaps more. I mean, it's just, it's not, it's apples and oranges, really. But uh, we're going to see if this thing will remove the step of having to use a palm sander. This thing's dangerous, dude. I got this on and it broke off. And this is the mess I was going to show you earlier. It's just, it's, I don't like you. I don't like you. Sorry, I'm trying to be as diplomatic as possible, but there's a reason I stopped using this. It's dangerous, it's sketchy, and you need like four sets of hands to put this back together, and I'm just going to throw it in the garbage. Sorry, I should... I, I wish I could show you an example of how this thing works, but... <sighs> so frustrated right now. Every time this thing comes apart, I got to work on it for like 30 minutes and then for this thing to just separate from this sorry grizzly that sucked man could have got seriously hurt right there when i turned it on this thing flew off it's 1700 rpms or whatever it is really disappointed um my hands are shaking right now really don't want to play with that thing ever again sorry man let's set up the sand right and uh hopefully i have better results so on the topic of safety this is all one piece of metal nothing to go flying or these are just kind of staggered in there and again when that cap comes off there and you have to put them back you get one on the other one pops out Anyone who owns this thing knows exactly what I'm talking about, so I'm not even going to bother. But, bye-bye. So similar to the sleeve for the bag sander, there's a sleeve, there's a washer. I went ahead and repurposed the Grizzly washer so I didn't have to have a bunch of little washers in here. And uh, made sure that this hangs over about an eighth of an inch so I can get this really nice and tight. I tried it earlier 
and I had it flush and this came out because this is too loose. It wasn't pinching down so all the sandpaper was letting out. This is a lot easier to put together than the stock Grizzly one. All right, let's see what this does to edges. Wow, that is a big difference. This thing, normally I get a palm sander out. I think this just helped me skip a step. These brushes really cup into the board. Um, nice reinforcement on them. And these slits in the paper, the paper being a thinner paper, it just seems to just kind of fit into the contours of the board. Normally I would take this over and palm sand it then hand sand it. I think this bad boy's ready for gloss. Really cool, thanks Charles. Highly recommended. Thank you Charles for suggesting that I give flap sanders a try again. After my experience with the stock Grizzly one, I just stopped using it. Uh, it worked a little bit, but this really got the edges. Look at that. Almost looks like I used my orbital and hand sanded that with some 400. So I'm going to keep using it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of the video where to get these uh, flap sanders and the adapter so you can use your Grizzly. Now you can have a Grizzly motor with a Sandrite bag and a Sandrite flap. So get the best bo both worlds, an economic motor that you've already invested in, you already have it, and something that's going to make a better skateboard in a faster amount of time. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thank you very much.